Hello everyone, this is Hars Agawala and today we have Siddharth Kumar Jha with us. Uh, Siddharth Bhaiya is a manufacturing engineer at Scient, the name of the company is Scient. And he is from Jorhat Institute of Science and Technology itself, that is our college itself. And he is from the uh, batch of 2017 to 2021. Now, Scient is a, a leading global company in engineering, manufacturing and digital technology solutions. So, uh, and during 2021 year, there were no, uh, uh, there were no in campus placements. There were no placements at all. So at that time, it was very difficult to actually crack a job, to get a, to get placed uh, from uh, campus itself. So there were only off campus placements left. So at that time, he was actually able to crack a job of his own field, that is manufacturing engineer, and he is he was from mechanical engineering itself. So uh, before moving to the questions, I would like to congratulate you for that, and. Uh, Yes, okay, so moving to the questions, my first question from you will be uh, what was your motivation to actually go for a manufacturing job? Can you describe that? Sure, okay. so uh, when I did my B.Tech in uh, Mechanical, so I was actually much more inclined to designing uh, and uh, different kinds of softwares like uh, Cynthia and uh, Fusion and Simon. So uh, when I was designing, I was uh, like very much interested in uh, what's happening. Like what's really happening, how, which part kind of materials are being used, okay, what type of like expanding are being applied to it. So, uh, this thing, like, uh, I was very much like interested in, in, in this part. So that's why, like, I uh, decided that after completing my degree, I will be like, uh, uh, like joining uh, in this area only. Uh, like, interested in this area only. So, so my, my own interest, like, turned into my motivation. So, yeah. Okay, that's so... Right. While you were learning the softwares and all, AutoCAD, SCATIA and all, you got to know more, more about these components and all, and you got more inclined into the manufacturing sector, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So, uh, the next question from myself, my side will be, uh, how do you got to know about science recruitment? Okay, uh, so when I was back like, in my uh, last year, so uh, I was like everyone else, I was there, like what's going to happen now uh, after graduating. So I uh, search for uh, uh, whatever the companies which are like uh, in the field of manufacturing okay. and designing. So okay. some of the companies like Samo Fisher and Scient and uh, uh, Deloitte, this kind of companies came up. So I applied in all of these companies. Okay. So uh, I I kept on applying and then uh, many of I I like I faced many of objections because they were much more interested in the guys which have interest. Which, sorry, which had already like experience. So uh, I was a fresher with zero, zero year experience. Yeah, so yeah. That's why I faced rejection on those companies. But luckily, uh, in science, a, uh, a requirement came, came up for the fresher. For fresher. So I applied. Yeah, okay. yeah. So I applied and uh, uh, round, like the first, first questionnaire round, second was interview round. So after uh, passing those two, I got selected. Okay, so you got to know about the science recruitment in LinkedIn or what? Yeah, uh, in LinkedIn, in Google, many other companies, but uh, if you ask particularly science, then it's, uh, I found it in LinkedIn. Okay. Yeah. So and for that, I, uh, I like uh, one advice for everyone, like, uh, uh, like make your CV like very, you know, interesting. Okay, industry uh, specific. In yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Whatever you have done, whatever you think, like, yeah, it will, it's going to, like, help me long run and it in your system. Okay. So, what were the other companies did you apply at that time? Can you uh, name a few of them that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I applied in many, but I don't remember all of them. Uh, some of it were, like, uh, John Fay, uh, Eden, uh, Hitachi, uh, Samo Fisher, uh, and, uh, yeah, obviously, Science. And, yeah. I remember this one. Okay. And that is all, all of it. Okay, all right. So uh, now the next question will be, uh, how many rounds were there? You said two rounds. Okay. First yeah, yeah. round was questionnaire. Uh, like so, the... yeah. So what type of questions were there? Aptitude or technical questions? No, no, no. Just, just technical. No aptitude questions. No aptitude questions. Only, Only technical questions. Okay. Uh, it was uh, like, pick the word up. Everything from your second year to uh, final year mechanical. 
ओके सो हाउ डिड यू प्रिपेयर फॉर दैट टेस्ट कैन यू डिस्क्राइब दैट लाइक व्हाट हेल्प यू टू क्रैक दैट टेस्ट या एक्चुअली आई वाज ऑलरेडी प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर माय गेट एग्जामिनेशन गेट एग्जामिनेशन सो लाइक या सो आई टिल देन आई आई हैड ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड माय लाइक 80% और 90% ऑफ द पेपर सो इट काइंड ऑफ हेल्प मी इन गेटिंग सेलेक्टेड बाय द कंपनी सो या द गेट प्रिपरेशन हेल्प मी अ लॉट yeah so uh, the the take away from here will be if you have prepared for get and it doesn't matter even if you have qualified or not it will help you in other exams also isn't it exactly exactly yeah 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 exactly. like uh, one observation that i made up like uh, your hard work uh, will never go to waste yeah uh, uh, it will uh, is going is going to help you out in some way or another in the long run so uh, don't be impatient have patience so yeah 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 ओके, सो वी गोट टू नो एवर फर्स्ट राउंड नाउ द सेकंड राउंड दैट इंटरव्यू व्हाट टाइप ऑफ इंटरव्यू वाज दैट टेक्निकल क्वेश्चंस, एचआर क्वेश्चंस, लाइक बोट ओके सो टेक्निकल ग्रांटेड so get preparation will help you in some way or other okay so uh, my next question from him will be uh, what does a manufacturing engineer needs to do there what is your job there can you describe that yeah sure sure uh, as a manufacturing engineer uh, i am in the field of aircraft engineering uh, mro mro is like uh, maintenance repair and overhauling so my specific job is to report the authority what the problem is being uh, like what the problem occurring in the engine, engine like i have to report i have to tell them like this part needs to get replaced this part needs to get removed so uh, this is the main part and uh, uh, yeah i can go into more details like tell tell uh, you who the customer who companies is it we are working because it's kind of falls into the confidentiality but yeah yeah, yeah that's it yeah i understand so uh, basically you need to detect the problem isn't it or what yeah exactly. you you need to detect the problem what is the problem with the parts of the yeah, aircraft yeah. and yeah, you yeah. need and, to uh, like uh, there is an engine manual okay so in engine manual uh, it's very detailed very detailed and uh, we need to like look through it we have to remember something and like uh, we have to follow through every instruction whatever it is there so yeah uh, it is provided by the customer so we have to look through it we have to then then only we have to check and then we have to report so, yeah. okay so uh, basically you need to report to the author a high authority about what is yeah, the problem yeah. by reading the manuals exactly yeah, yeah. okay so uh, my next question from you will be uh, do you have any uh, suggestions for our fellow mates and juniors like what should how should they consider their career like uh, someone wants whether they want to go into the technical field it field how to actually uh, know that okay uh, you know uh, this like the, the perfect answer for this like it will fall into the area of your interest okay so like if you are interested in technical but you are doing something it work okay then yeah, every day it will be like a burden for you Okay, so you have to work on the area of interest in some day, some day. Like if you are starting just after graduating, you have to just like survive. Then you can like you know struggle a little bit. But your the, the main aim, the main not the your main aim should be should lie in the area of your interest. So then only like every day it will be fun for you. Like every day you will be excited to yeah, go into your job and then work every day. And uh, some other suggestions like uh, you uh, for uh, the junior, <laughs> like uh, you have to be aware uh, whatever the opportunity opportunities uh, 
uh, lies before you and you have to grab it okay and you have to talk to people to share yeah. the information you know yeah, yeah. just like being very secretive it won't help you a lot and uh, yeah let's say you have you have to be consistent with whatever you do yeah okay so, yeah, the, the, the yeah okay so the main takeaway always i would consider like talking to the people it is very important isn't it like uh, yeah. if you are studying in college you should try to communicate to the people who are working in the industry that you are looking forward to work isn't it exactly yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, you know i i want to like give a shout out to one of my seniors ishan nawaz okay actually uh, he was very much inclined to technical field and i talked to him so he like he like he really motivated me during my like when i was uh, most much more inclined to designing and everything in the software so he like helped me out a lot so yeah it's another position if if is watching the video yeah 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 okay so so enough questions for you uh, for today guys uh, it was great talking to you siddharth bhaiya and uh, i hope we will be doing a podcast uh, in future soon sure so uh, I hope this video will help uh, my dear my mates and my juniors who are actually uh, in doubt what should they do. Uh, the the main suggestion will be to actually try to get a work in your uh, in your specific field only. So that's all whatever for today. Is, whatever life is in your interest. Yeah, yeah. Whatever your interest is, you should try to get a job in that only. So that's all for today. Thank you, everyone. Uh, I will be coming with more more people like that. So that's all for today. Thank you.